I am so, so, so tired. Let me tell you. Listen to me. TikTok, although the best app to ever exist, um, extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Guys, I sat down to do my makeup. <laughs> to start filming this video at 7 p.m. Okay, 7. I stopped, I went and got that new like apple crisp macchiato from Starbucks, which is really yummy by the way. It's very, very sweet and I can't even drink the whole thing. Just a, just a few sips, but it's delicious. I did that, I sat down, I finished doing my makeup and then, you know, I was like, okay, let me scroll TikTok for like two minutes, two minutes. Let me watch two TikToks. And I wanna say that was like 7.45-ish, 7.50 max. It's... 10.51. It's almost 11 p.m. Guys, I have to wake up early. I work tomorrow. I don't even know how that happened. I am so glad that I am not in high school currently because if TikTok was around when I was in high school, I would have flunked. I would have never done homework. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have gone, gone to class. So shout out to Gen Z out there who is still going to school and still getting A's while TikTok is a thing. I could never. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna be walking you through my everyday makeup bag. This bag is so dirty, oh my God. <laughs> ignore that, ignore that. I thought I would share with you the products that are in my like everyday makeup bag. This is the makeup that I've been wearing nonstop. It's like my go-to everyday makeup. And of course you're gonna recognize a bunch of makeup in here, but there also is some new makeup in here that I've been loving recently and I wanted to share with you guys. It's kind of like my current favorites. <laughs> Just makeup I've been loving like every single day. It's kind of like a full face of my go-to makeup these days. And I wanted to show you my makeup bag because I have been using this so much. This is from a brand called Stephanie Johnson. I got this a while ago, but I didn't start using it till recently because I mean, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still not going anywhere, but I do do my makeup in the car very, very often. Sometimes I don't have time to do it here, so I have to do it in the passenger seat. And I always just throw everything into this bag. And what I love about this bag so much is the fact that it's really, really simple. It's like flat and long. And I just love that I can see everything. I do really like that it's shallow because I just open this and I just see everything everything laying right there. Like I don't have to really look for things. I don't have to really dig in my makeup bag. And yeah, it doesn't have like compartments or anything, but I just like that it's one big bag. Very, very simple. Oh, and another thing I love about it, I also throw my makeup brushes in here. Again, I wouldn't do that if I was like traveling on an airplane, like if I was going somewhere. But whenever I'm rushing and I'm gonna do my makeup in the car, I love that it is a flat bag like this because my makeup brushes just fit perfectly in here and I feel like they don't get ruined or smushed or anything like that, you know? So yeah, I absolutely love this bag. Everything fits in here. I can literally shove anything in here and I like that it's a little bit transparent and I'm obsessed with tortoise. I love this print. So yeah, I just, I love this bag. I don't remember where I got it. I wanna say like Sephora. I don't remember because it was a while ago but I'm gonna try to find it and link it below. But anyway, Anyway, let's dive in. Now, I don't want this video to be too long. You know, mama can talk. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to breeze through the products I talk about all the time. The first two being like <laughs> my holy grails. I am beating a dead horse at this point, but the Glossier Brow Flick is hands down the ultimate brow product. I will never use another brow product again. Like I don't even look at my brow pencils anymore, guys. It's not even funny. And that just blows my mind. I just don't think that pencils really compare to this type of product. And I'm really loving that we're seeing a lot of brands come out with similar products. So this is basically just like a marker and you draw on your brow hairs like that. It's not like your typical brow pencil that kind of looks like an eyeliner, like for your waterline. This is more of like a marker, similar to like a liquid liner. And I know that that sounds really, really scary, but once you get the hang of it, it honestly looks like brow hairs. I always get so many compliments in person from like my friends and family. They tell me all the time like, wow, your brows actually look bushy. It looks like you have extra hair. It doesn't look like I have like brow product in my hair, if that makes sense. They look like little freaking hairs and I love it. I swear by this. This is the best. And then of course my Nude Sticks Brow Boost and Set Gel XL. This is my favorite brow gel ever. It's the only brow gel that I feel leaves my hairs up and feathery all day. It's like glue for my brows. Obsessed. My favorite little combo. We'll never look back. Now I would usually throw a primer in here. My Laneige Primer, my makeup serum primer. I forget the name of that. <laughs> Oh God, this video. That stuff is amazing, it's great. Just like my Smashbox primerizer, but they are glass. And I don't really like to throw glass in this bag. So a lot of the times when I'm going somewhere, I will skip that primer and I'll just use my SPF, especially since I'm going somewhere. If I'm leaving this house, even if I'm just going to the backyard, I'm putting on my SPF. Even in your house, okay? Cause like the sun comes through the windows. 
The sun is the reason we age. And honestly, I love so many different SPFs, but this has been my go-to recently. This is the Clinique Super Defense City Block Daily Energy and Face Protector. I love this because it leaves my skin so dewy, beautiful, luminous, and hydrated. I love that. I have very, very dry skin, so the dewier, the more moisturizing, the better, and I feel like this is just a drink of water. It makes me look so luminous, and I love that it has an SPF of 50, so I use this underneath all my foundations. I'm obsessed. It's thick, but like I, I just love how it feels. Of course, I can't say enough about the Fenty Beauty Easy Drops. I kind of want to do a video um, about products that have replaced my holy grail products because this is definitely one of them would you guys be interested in seeing a video like that let me know in the comments below but this has replaced like every foundation i've been loving recently i'm not kidding when i say that this is like one of my favorite foundations ever ever that i've ever tried of all time it is up there it is listen to this it is up there with my makeup forever face and body it's up there with my l'oreal infallible pro fresh I mean, it's up there. Did I already say the name of this? The Easy Drops Blurring Skin Tint. I have mine in the shade 9. This is the most beautiful foundation. It just like smooths out the skin. It covers up everything I needed to cover up while still remaining so thin and lightweight. It just like glides over the skin. I literally can't explain it, but it really does like blur your skin. It just blends right in. It becomes skin. It is so beautiful and light, yet it covers and you look flawless and natural and stunning. I'm obsessed with it. It's uh, the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. Looks beautiful in photos. Looks beautiful all the time. And what I like about that is I feel like even if you have oily skin, you might still like that because it's just so natural and it's not too much of anything. It's not dewy or matte. It's Perfect. And then I've also been loving and abusing my Il Maquillage Fuck I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. I have mine in the shade 3.5. I'm almost out of this. And this is kind of similar to the Fenty Beauty Easy Drop, where I kind of gradually fell in love with it over time. It wasn't like something that I fell in love with right away, but I just kept noticing that my skin looked so fresh and beautiful every time I would wear this concealer. It's definitely my favorite everyday lightweight concealer. It doesn't have too much coverage, but it covers enough. It it blends into any foundation beautifully like it never looks too thick or cakey it honestly just looks so light and airy and and flawless in the most natural way I love it so much I also love using the shade 08 as my foundation sometimes because it is such a multi-use concealer like you can put it over blemishes you could do like two little layers over blemishes and it looks really natural and it covers or you can just do a thin layer underneath the eyes and it just looks so so beautiful i love this concealer so much it's definitely the one that i've been using like every single day if i want something more flawless and thick something more glam that's gonna last like a bajillion hours i will use my dose of colors meet your hue but on a daily basis that is my go-to i need to give a huge shout out to this little collection oh my god i've been using this for like eight days non-stop <laughs> this is the most awesome little eye kit ever this is from nude sticks and it's their dark romantics eyeshadow kit and it is freaking amazing so basically in this little cute tin you get five magnetic magnetic matte <laughs> eye colors and then you get one luminous one, which is like a silvery shade. This is the only one in the kit that I don't use, honestly. But I am obsessed with every single one of these. This is awesome because you basically just get a bunch of matte browns. And they are a few different tones. You get a couple cool ones in here, a couple warm ones. And they're awesome to just create everyday eyeshadow looks. And in five seconds, this is honestly the perfect kit for you if you are on the go. Especially since there's a freaking mirror in here. How awesome is that? You can honestly do your makeup with this in the car you don't even need a brush like if you just wanted to do a one and done eyeshadow look you can just take like Tara for example rub her all over your lid blend it out with your finger and you're good to go I'm actually wearing Tara hot stone and cocoa on my lids I'm not sure if you can tell I have a little bit of a sparkle all over my entire lid which is not in this kit it's like another eyeshadow palette um but underneath that sparkle these are the three eyeshadows that I'm wearing and I did this look in no lie five minutes. I just took Tara all over my lid up to my brow bone and I blended it out with this little guy. This brush is seriously amazing. Also part of my everyday makeup bag. This is from e.l.f. It, it was part of their electric mood collection and I love this brush because it is fatter than your typical pencil brush but smaller than your typical crease brush but it's still very dense and you can really buff out 
cream shadow with this especially those that dry pretty quickly like these <laughs> this does dry a bit fast so you do have to work quickly but they are blendable it is movable and I actually do like that it dries pretty quickly because they last all day guys like once you blend this out it is on your lid all day until you wash it off and I just love them you can use this as like a creamy all-over lid shade or you could use them as eyeliner Seriously, so good. This little kit is so awesome because they're all natural colors and perfect for every day. Oh, I also think that the Rare Beauty brush, um, crap, I forget the name of this brush. It doesn't say it, but this brush from Rare Beauty that has this shape, this is the perfect like traveling foundation brush because you can use it for concealer as well. I personally only use this for concealer because it's the perfect shape, but if I am going somewhere and I don't want to take too many brushes, this is perfect for foundation. And concealer, I love this. Oh, and speaking of rare beauty, oh my gosh. I love this freaking mascara. This just came out. This is the rare beauty. The name is not on this. Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. Rare, can you put the name on the sticker on the bottom? Por favor. This mascara is so freaking good. It's the mascara I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I have been wearing it every single day since I got it and it is amazing. I feel like it's replacing my mascaras right now. I haven't been reaching for any other one since I discovered this. I love it because it's so thickening and volumizing, but it doesn't weigh your lashes down at all. This will, rem this will remain like this all day, even if you don't curl your lashes, because I'm not gonna lie, I never put on mascara without curling my lashes. Like that is definitely a needed step for me. But the other day I wanted to test this out without it because I was like, wow, this mascara is so good. I wonder if I'll still feel the same way without curling my lashes, and I swear, I still felt the same way. It obviously didn't look as, you know, but it was so lengthening and volumizing and my lashes just look so black. I freaking love this mascara so much, guys. Such a big hit. I, I love it and I love the packaging. So toot. Okay, I'm gonna breeze through these three products because I can't talk about them enough. This has been my go-to bronzer since I discovered it. It's crazy because I was using my Ilia bronzer every single day. I've gone through like two of those bronzers. It's still the best, it's my favorite powder bronzer ever. But oh my gosh, have I fallen in love with the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in light medium from the brand Makeup by Mario. This is the best cream contour cream bronzer ever. I use two different shades. Sometimes I use light, sometimes I use light medium. Today I used light medium. I love it. It blends like a dream. It doesn't ever get patchy and it even looks nice, like blended on top of powder products. It's such a good formula, guys. Even if you're not a fan of cream bronzer, I think you'll like this. It's just so user-friendly. Even with any brush, honestly, it looks beautiful with any brush, but my favorite way to apply it is with the Il Maquillage foundation blending brush. And you know what's so funny about this brush? The other day, my friend Amanda, um, she was here doing my hair. She does my hair for literally anything. If you've seen any of my photo shoots for literally anything, Amanda has done my hair for it for years. She's the best. But anyway, the other day she was here doing my hair for my Zodiac themed girls night because I wanted like an Aquarius-y hairstyle. I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok, but it had like bubble braids. And she was doing that for me because I suck. And I was applying this bronzer with this brush. And she was like, I am obsessed with that brush. She was talking about how she uses it for her foundation all the time. It's like her holy grail brush. And I'm like, yeah, isn't it so freaking good? I love it. I don't really use it for foundation, but I love it for bronzer. And these have been my go-to blushes for sure, especially this one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Blush in Latte. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect everyday blush. I've already spoken about it. So, you know, I will move on, but it's the blush I'm wearing right now. It's so natural looking, but it has the most beautiful glow to it that I swear I don't feel the need to put on highlight because I feel just so naturally dewy. I love this, so good. I feel the same way about the Nude Sticks blush in Bigante. The only thing is that this one is a little bit spicier. It's a little louder. So I only really wear it occasionally, but still, still in my everyday makeup bag because sometimes I'm feeling spicy, okay? And it's just so good. And it can also look really, really natural if you wanted to. And sometimes I even mix them together. I just love those two cream blushes so much, so much. Also, funny enough, the other day when I got home, when I did an Ulta haul, I got the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This is the illuminating one. They have like a regular one and then they have this glowy one. I love the regular one a lot as well, but this one, this dewy one is so amazing if you have very dry skin. This makes your skin look so 
glowy and luminous and it's such an affordable setting spray I've had this for a really long time but since they came out with this big new version and I just recently got it I've been using it a lot I'm telling you I don't even need highlighter these days I just need my dewy blush and my dewy setting spray and I look nice and juicy it has a little bit of a sheen to it but that doesn't show up on the face at all you just look really really dewy like I'm not kidding guys you look illuminated like Glossy you look glossy and I love it. I also do feel like it does make my makeup last longer It's not the freaking Huda Beauty setting spray But it does make my makeup last a lot longer than if I didn't use a setting spray So I love that stuff so much and when I use this I Gotta use this so this is the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear powder foundation And I have been using this like in my t-zone especially if I'm going somewhere in hot ass Miami. Again, when I say going somewhere, I mean like the walk from my car to the nail salon, like when I go do my nails at Leslie's, like the walk from the car up to Leslie's studio. It's very hot, it's very hot. I'm like crossing streets, like <laughs> sweating, dying, okay? And honestly, sometimes this can just look borderline too dewy, so I have to hit up my T-zone with something, and this is the powder to do it with you will not get at least not me I will not get sweaty if I use this like not that I won't get sweaty But I won't get sweaty as fast like this really keeps my sweat at bay while still remaining so smooth and beautiful Because as you can imagine when you put powder on really dry skin, it doesn't tend to look the best This looks so beautiful and natural yet. It's full coverage and waterproof I don't know how they do it, but they do it and it's awesome at the drugstore You need it no matter what your skin type is I think everybody would love this. And then the rest of these products are lip products. These have been my go-to, especially, especially this. This is another one of those products that I can throw in that video of like products that have replaced my holy grails. So this is the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade AI. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. And I know what you're thinking. Are you saying that's replacing your Pat McGrath? Contour? No, not contour. Contour is bay. Me and contour, oh, written in the stars. But done undone from Pat McGrath. Yes. Now, like I've said in the past, the Pat McGrath formula is literal magic, but the Il Maquillage waterproof lip liners still last a super, super long time. This formula is amazing as well. Plus, this is like $17 versus the Pat McGrath ones are like 28 so it is significantly cheaper and I'm obsessed with this shade It's very similar to done undone, which I love but it doesn't have like that sheeniness that done undone has Which I know some people don't like about that this one doesn't have that so that's awesome And it is a little bit more nude done undone is a little bit pinkier This one is a little bit more nude, which I love it's the lip liner I'm wearing on my lips right now I do have a lip gloss on top, but the lip gloss is pretty sheer this color is just so beautiful I'm obsessed with this lip liner. It looks like my natural lip liner but better honestly it's just the perfect freaking color I love the formula it's so nice it's so good I have been using it every single day and then on top of that I'm actually wearing this lip gloss this is from tower 28 and it's their shine on lip jelly in the shade coconut I have fallen in love with this I've, I've been using this for about a week now and I love this little guy it's such a beautiful how would you describe this pink? Do you guys remember November from ColourPop? The shade that I made with ColourPop, it was a liquid lipstick. This is kind of like the sheer lip gloss version of it. It's such a beautiful, like, peachy, rosy nude. Pink? What? You know, and these glosses are actually not super long wearing, but they feel really, really nice on the lips. They're like kind of like the everyday lip gloss, one that you know you're gonna have to reapply throughout the day, but it's just so lightweight and fresh that like it doesn't really matter. It does transfer a little bit, but ugh, I just love this color so much. I mean, it's no Alamar Cosmetics birthday suit in terms of wear. You know, it's not like super long wearing and thick and juicy. It's very thin, non sticky, and just like an everyday gloss. I love this shade in coconut though, so, so pretty. Speaking of Alamar Cosmetics, I have a gloss from them, but it's actually not one of their Desnudas glosses. This is one of their Besitos de Perla, which is totally different. This is their Shimmering Liquid Lip Balm. Guys, this is so, so good. I love this shade specifically in Corazón because it's just so unique and so beautiful on the lips. It has a bunch of little, little shimmers in it that just look so stunning on the lips because they're all just like a bunch of different colors and it looks 
so pretty on. I swear, it honestly looks 10 times better on the lips than it does in the tube. Like in the tube, it looks like it'll be like kind of like a metallic gold, but it's not. It's a very sheer, like diamondy kind of finish. It's so, so stunning. And I love the scent. This smells like freaking pineapples. Oh my God, like, oh, it smells so good. I don't have any other gloss in my collection that smells like this. It's like a pineapple cocktail. It's so freaking yummy. And it's super lightweight. Like I said, it's a shimmering liquid lip balm. So it does have like that balmy texture. It's not sticky. It's not thick. It's very, very comfortable. And honestly looks stunning on top of that AI lip liner. Like your lips just look like diamonds. It's so pretty. And then another lip balm I have been obsessed with obsessed with. This is the uh, lip injection lip balm from Too Faced. You guys are familiar with the lip injection extreme lip gloss from Too Faced because I've talked about that a ton recently. They just came out with a lip balm version and I could not be more excited. And this honestly just tickled the living crap out of my pickle. You have no idea. When I got this in the mail, I was like, because sometimes I want my lips to look smooth and plump, but I don't want them to look glossy and like, Girl, where are you going, you know? I love that they came out with a lip balm because it still gives your lips that like plumping, smoothing feel, but it looks like you have like a little lip balm on, like chapstick. Oh, and it smells like strawberry milk. Mmm, it smells so good. And then last but not least, I have to talk about these, okay? This is the NYX Shine Loud, no, what is this called? These are the NYX High Pigment Lip Shines, and they are amazing if you are trying to look for a lip gloss that will <clears throat> withstand your face mask or that is literally not gonna go anywhere. This is a liquid lipstick, guys, but it has a little gloss on the end, which makes it a shiny liquid lipstick and it is freaking amazing. And I know what you're thinking, Kathleen, You've talked about those. Also, those things have been around for a bajillion years. Hello, L'Oreal has them. They're like the infallible ones. Hello, Rimmel has them. These have been done a hundred times. I know, but I love the NYX ones. I love the color selection. These three are my favorites. These are Ambition Statement, which is like a really pretty peachy nude. Life Goals, which is like a very, very muted red almost. Not red, but like pink red, you, you know. And I love this one, I love this one so much. This is Boundary Pusher, and like I said, they're liquid lipsticks, but you have to apply the, the clear lip gloss on top, because if you don't, it will stay really, really sticky, and the formula will get really weird. You kinda have to use it shiny, but it just looks so nice, and it is literally on your lips the entire day. You will have to reapply the gloss throughout the day, like to keep the shine, but I mean, who cares? It's just a little clear gloss and you're done. Seriously amazing, especially during like face mask times, you know? You will get gloss on your face mask, sure, but it's like a little bit of a clear gloss. Like the, the pigment doesn't really come off with it, you know? It's awesome. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, that is uh, my everyday makeup bag and the products I've been loving recently and what I use to do my makeup every single day. That's about it. That's the end of this video. That completes this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so... Wait. That wasn't right. Anyway, guys, that completes the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm getting sleepy drunk. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.